How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then, different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> No, wait, where are you going? Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there, hmm? Just, just stay 
here. No! What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. Are you... you are going to stay here, aren't you? You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. No! <laughs> oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs>